Hey guys, today I will be talking about MTG Finance, uh, pre-orders in general. Uh, we have a very good example of one, Kozilak, The Great Distortion, is right now pre-ordering on Star City Games at $12.49. Uh, typically I pick one card I really like and then I just buy a lot of that one card. Uh, I don't see a point in spreading your, especially at pre-orders, spreading a portfolio of cards because you know, 95 to 99% of cards at pre-order high price will go down in price and it will directly plummet in price. Now, the last time the card that did keep its price, it didn't really go up, but it kept its price was Gideon. And Gideon was obviously a very strong card and it's seeing play all in standard and that's dominating standard as kind of Elspeth dominated standard when she was allowed to be played in standard. So very good card, Gideon reminds me a lot of Elspeth. Weaker, but cheaper. And when you have cheaper Planeswalkers, that's what you look at. So I will go over Chandra and Nyssa, uh, but in this video, I'm just gonna explain what I look for and I'm gonna use Kozilak as the example. Kozilak on Star City Games, I'll put him right, right here the whole time, is $12.49. $12.49 is not a bad price for him. Uh, 1249 Star City Games means about under $10 on eBay or a TCG player. Uh, eBay, the prices are all kind of crazy right now. And this is my best advice for you. Do not order anything right now on eBay because that person is, if the price goes up, that person will not deliver you those cards unless it's a bigger name like Kid Icarus. Uh, same thing with TCG player. I've seen many times that uh, they, the dude posts that he has 20 expeditions, but he opens like one case and he didn't, he didn't pull the expedition that you ordered from him at a very good rate, so he doesn't ship it out. And you might say, oh, that's unethical, that's, you know, a TCG player to a lesser extent where reputation does matter, because there's, you gotta get a rating above and you have to get enough cards, and a TCG player reputation matters, but on eBay, like, I see plenty of these pre-sellers with no feedback. That should be the biggest red flag when you're pre-ordering. Do not even, like, you might be lucky and, and the people in the comment below, comments below might be like, oh, I've ordered it from a bot guy with no comment and he delivered like 25 expeditions and I only ordered one. No, that's not realistic. It's not realistic for someone who's buying a case to, you know, put pre-order on eBay every single expedition. And that's what's happening. Uh, if you see like, pre-orders for multiple expeditions, the dude's probably not gonna buy enough to open multiple expeditions. Just my opinion, unless it's a store or someone with tremendous feedback, uh, the only person I would pre-order from eBay would be Kid Icarus, and that's it. I hate Kid Icarus, I can't stand the dude, but he is the highest quality of, uh, on eBay at least, I know I'm getting the card in the condition I ordered it from, so. Take that with a grain of salt. Like, I'm not a fan of him, of his store, but he definitely has the best reputation. And there's, I mean, I can't argue against that, right? Uh, that being said, pre-ordering what you look for a card, uh, using Kozilak as a, Kozilak is a Drazi, so he kind of is a dragon-esque card. Uh, the last time we saw a dragon planeswalker, he is the most expensive card in his set, Fate Reforged, and he will continue to be well played and uh, done extremely well. Uh, I mean, he's going to be a incredibly powerful as a card. Uh, however, when you look at Kozilak, the biggest thing that I don't like about him is his enter the board, his ETB does not affect, it only affects your hand, it does not affect the board state, and that is very bad. Uh, the reason that is so bad is because if you're gonna pay that much for him, you're gonna pay eight and double diamonds, you need to somehow, like you've been ramping up all this time, your opponent probably has a board state which having just a 12-12 that can counter new spells isn't gonna help you. And that's why the other one is so much better because it destroys two permanents. I mean, it knocks out two creatures normally, or I don't know what they have on the field, but it's going to save you a ton of damage and represent a blocker. This one, Kozilak, just represents a blocker, and to me, uh, that is extremely 
not strong, uh, especially since you're ramping up all this time to get there. But then you get there and it's just like, oh, well, I'm going to attack with my two siege rhinos and my Tassiger. B block here, I took eight, take eight. Okay, cool. Um, so when I look at a speculation, I'm going to talk about Nyssa and Nyssa, I don't know what her price is right now. I know what is on eBay, but that's not like correct. I know what Chandra's price is on eBay, but that's not correct. I'll take a look at those two. I like Nyssa a lot. Um, I like her. Uh, I would have liked her more if we had an Elvis Mystic card and she could be played on turn two. But I do, my gut feeling about her is Jace Bellerin, when he came out, was a very dominant card. Um, it was a card played in every single de deck, and once, you know, Jace Mind Sculptor came out, you played both of them. But, um,. Free mana for a Planeswalker with, you know, I, the origin Planeswalkers are not true Planeswalkers in my opinion because you have to do stuff to activate it. So when you play Chandra in turn three or Liliana, it's not really a Planeswalker yet. You've got to do stuff. You got to jump through hoops, which is not always great. But when I look at what's available at that cost, uh, Jace Bellerin and... I mean, it is a Johnny Steadfast. Not, yeah, I think a Johnny Steadfast. What else was at that cost? Um, the other dude, the other dude from Born. But the other dude was really good too. Um, it was one, I think it was a red and a green. Xenagos, Zen, no, Xenagos was at four, right? But when you have Planeswalkers, the main thing about Planeswalkers is you gotta hit the table early. Because every time you build up a cumul yeah, a 01 plant kind of sucks, but if you hit the table early, the 01 plant for the ramp deck, it might be enough. It might be enough to, like, oh, I'm going to block, you know, your Tassiger with my 01. And just create, you know, this <laughs> loop where you're trying to save life. Because every time you can save life, and then maybe they kill her Nissa instead of you. So I see having a home in the green, red ramp deck, which I play, and I enjoy that deck a lot. Uh, because it pretty much saves you a lot of life. Uh, it's, is it Corsair Crufix? No, it's not Corsair Crufix. But does it have to be? No, because there's already a deck out there that's that needs it. Anyway, I like, um, not a fan of Kozilek. I'm a fan of one of the Planeswalkers, which I'll make a video about later. Bye, guys.